Hello everybody and welcome to my next Let's Play. We'll be tackling Metroid for the Nintendo. This game came out in 1986, made by Nintendo, published by Nintendo, so on and so forth. This is an awesome game. <clears throat> I mean, obviously its sequels are way better, but this is still a classic and you cannot fuck with it. Emergency order! Defeat the Metroid of the planet Zebeth and destroy the mother brain, the mechanical life vein! Galaxy Federal Police M510. I don't know what that shit means, but the theme song's amazing, and I think I'm just gonna rock with it for a minute. Rock with it. Lean with it. Rock with it. Lean with it. Play it. Alright. Let's try to burn through this bad boy, huh? Or bad girl, if you wanna get technical. Although I honestly believe that making her a girl was a last minute decision based after seeing like the movie Aliens or something. They're like, oh, gum toy, wouldn't it be funny, make girl? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Pew! Anyway, you start off with this pathetic beam. It looks, they look like graham crackers. Samus is shooting graham crackers out of his freaking wrist cannon, arm cannon, whatever. I called it his, because at this point in the game, in theory, we don't know it's a girl yet. We don't know that. Because in the instruction booklet, all we know is that it's a he. So, for the duration of this playthrough, I will call this character a he. We all know better, but, I mean, I'm, I'm having fun here. Come on, let me alone. So, Samus looks like a... I don't know, looks really weird in this game. <laughs> looks like a, a man in yellow pajamas and a big head. A big turtle head. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, yeah! This was one of the few games you can't glitch enemies off the screen. Look at that. Whoa, whoa! The flip is official in this game, by the way. The flip game is off the chain. Whoops, wrong way. So the first thing you want to do when you start this bad boy up is grab the morphing ball, which you already saw me do, or Maru Maru, whatever the hell they fucking call it. I call it a morphing ball. After that, you want to head up through the blue Brin Stars, I like to call it. This is the area that we're in right now. It's called Brin Star, apparently. Who named this stuff? Nobody knows. Anyway, you go up, 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 up. In this game, you know, it was one of a kind back in the day. You never really had a game with non-linear exploration. You can't kill these. Not yet, anyway. And then you go into the first door you see. And from there, you will enter a long hallway. You will shoot graham crackers into the roof because it's kind of fun. The ceiling, I should say. From here, you head straight down. Where we're heading towards missiles. And missiles are important because without them, you can't unlock any doors that give you items. I done fucked up. Go to the first door you see and head on in. And unlike me, you want to try and kill enemies in an attempt to get health, because they start you off with 30 energy for some reason. I don't really got that, but whatever. And, yeah, shoot these guys, they'll charge at you. And, uh, 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 yeah! Owned. Enemies don't respawn in this game either, very, very good, good game design, man. Respawning enemies is a plague of Nintendo's existence, in my opinion. So this game was the first to try and not use that. Well, no, no, they do that. Anyway, there's the missiles. Grab those. Actually, there's an energy tank this way, too, isn't there? Maybe I should go down a bit. Unless I'm thinking of something else. Part of me thinks I'm, I'm being an idiot. Yeah, I think I'm being an idiot. I'm heading back. <laughs> I want the long beam. The long beam is the thing that will extend your graham cracker shot. You definitely want to expand your graham cracker shop as soon as possible because, well, you're fucking... Alright, well, what's that? Oh, why not? Can he make it? Can he make it with one help? Yeah! That's not gonna get annoying or anything! Give me help, give me help, give me help, give me help, give me help! Why not? I ain't going down without a fight! I ain't going down without a fight! No! No! <laughs> they were right there! Oh well, not a big deal. It's actually useful to get sent back. That way you can just go straight to the long beam. As a matter of fact, I should have just died right from the get-go. It's pretty stupid of me. Because you keep your missiles, you don't, you know, you don't lose any progress. Which must have blew people away back in the day. Like, whoa, I didn't lose any progress. So next time, I'm gonna just off myself to speed up the process. Cause these stupid freaking let's play videos are 10 minutes each, 10 minutes each, and I know I could just do the whole thing, I could do a long play. Quite frankly, I'm, I give myself a headache from talking so much. 
I'm not even joking. I got a headache right now, actually. I've been doing Let's Play all day. I just finished Mega Man 2. And it's funny, because you guys are just like, well, we just saw it, like, two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, you come prepared. And I actually finished Pulse Man today, too, so, yeah, that just to put things in perspective. <laughs> I've, uh, pretty much put myself set for a while. Anyway, I'm gonna grab the long beam. You're gonna wanna head all, not all the way up, but you wanna head up all the way up until you see a door on your left. Uh, yeah, your left. That's the door to the long beam. And the long beam is pretty much required, I feel. I mean, you could actually, I've beaten it without it. It's a pain in the ass, but you can do it. I just don't see the point in not getting the long beam. I mean, it's called the long beam. Why wouldn't anybody else, I mean, I, you know, it's a long beam. There's no beam longer than this one. The longest beam. That's not true, it's the long beam. And you head in and you hear the creepy music. This used to scare my brother as a kid. You noticing a pattern here? About things that scared my brother? Like everything, apparently? With these creepy noises. I don't know what it was with him and creepy noises, but he didn't like them. Five missiles blow up red doors, if you didn't know that already. I don't know why you'd be watching a Let's Play of Metroid if you didn't already like Metroid and understand how to play Metroid, but sometimes you hear people explaining what they're doing, so I'm, I'm giving that a shot this time. The, the sound effect changes, check it out. Long graham crackers. See how long the graham crackers go now? Maybe we can make s'mores soon. Anyway, next part of the game, we're gonna wanna grab bombs. And hopefully an energy tank. Die, your mother. Thank you. It's a lot easier to kill stuff now that we have the long beam, so count your blessings on that. <laughs> yeah, I don't think the beam gets any stronger from the long beam. It feels like it does, but I don't think it does, actually. I mean, it gets stronger in length, which is important. Anyway, we want to head back down this way and head back down this way. It's pretty legit. Too legit to quit. Now we're going to go get bombs. Oh, we got, yeah, we're gonna get bombs now. I think bombs are this way. I think bombs are this way. Oh my god, did I forget? No, I couldn't have forgotten. Yeah, we're getting bombs now. <clears throat> this is the way. I'm almost positive this is the way. And if I'm wrong, well, we'll find out and you can laugh at me. And I'll laugh at me too, so I don't feel as bad. I never find a point in killing those bats because they're really annoying and they have the most annoying trajectory in the world. Let's jump over them. Yeah, to get the bombs, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it. It's already seven minutos, that's Spanish for minutes. And, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, this is where the energy tank is, I think. No, it's not. What am I talking about? I'm, now I'm just rambling. I'm like, it's your energy tank is here! I, I say that all the time, oh, the energy tank is here, it's not here! It's not fucking here! You're right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry! I didn't mean it. Anyway. Bombs are great because they let you explore more. Oh yeah, the energy tank is here, look at that. Look at that, who's crying now? Me. I'm crying. But that's not the point. You should be crying too. Because you're so excited that I got an energy tank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Music in this game is great. You hear that bass line? That shit is impressive. And after you get out of there, you're gonna wanna head up. Because just you know, I'm 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 telling you what I'm doing even though you're just watching me do it, so obviously if you're playing you'll be like, Well he's heading up, so I'm gonna head down. Unless I say head up. So again, it's just me talking now. Well things are like don't they kinda look like butterflies? Look at them. Uh, butterflies with lobster claws. Ah, we are gonna get you, Savas. Hey, okay, bro. Okay, bro. Can we get this going please, bro? Thank you. God, how rude. <sighs> anyway, they're the bombs. Next time on Let's Play Metroid, we get the ice beam. We get the other thing and some other stuff. But I actually can't really tell you how long it's going to be. So I'm just going to say we're going to get some stuff. But I know for a fact that we're going to get the ice beam. So I'll see you then. I love you guys. Don't forget to check out my podcast. Link in the freaking... On my channel. Like, subscribe too. Why not? I think I've gotten this far that I can start saying that shit. Peace.